lot of people are saying the GOP didn't get anything out of this deal. Oh, ho, ho, ho. But you are wrong. Oh, yeah. You are wrong. Yep. You are wrong. Dead wrong. Dead wrong. For instance, um, and then there is, um, well, I'll tell you what there is. No, oh, I don't. Okay. Mitch McConnell got the two billion dollar dam project. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I have been saying, let's put the whole thing on the line for Mitch McConnell's reelection the whole time. Mm-hmm. How yes. I've been saying, if we could just get a bribe for uh-huh. the state of Kentucky mm-hmm. of two billion dollars, I'd be set. I would turn my face. It's a little, it's a little over two billion dollars. It's a little over two billion. Yeah, How much is it's it? It's a two point one two five or two point one two five billion. Okay. Which is, you know, when that point one two five, sure it's a hundred and twenty five million dollars. <laughs> sure it is. <laughs> sure it's a hundred and twenty it's a nine figure sum, but let's just round it off completely. Yeah. Okay, so, <laughs> so he's got the t- <laughs> thank you for allowing me to do this. Mitch McConnell <laughs> got the two billion dollar dam, which we've all been wanting. Now, now I want you to know How long have we talked about the oh, two billion dollar dam, dam project? In, uh, in you Kentucky. got it, yeah. You know? Now you know what uh, Mitch what Mitch is saying here is I didn't have anything to do with that. Nothing. You know what? Damn him. He didn't. <laughs> damn him. Oh, he, did. he did it with the damn. That's what we're talking damn about. Damn him. Yeah. You know what? He didn't. He didn't. It was Lamar Alexander, and that's how worthless Mitch McConnell is. He couldn't even get a works project done for his own state. He had to leave it to Lamar Alexander, and Lamar Alexander didn't even really do it. You know who really did it? Diane Feinstein. Diane Feinstein. Now, shit, Diane is the one in California who, you know, smelt over people. <laughs> you know, let the farmers just uh, uh, let their let their. They're fertile, the most fertile farmland in the country. Let it all go to a dust bowl because we can't change the environment. We can't hurt the environment. We can't do that. Of course, Diane Feinstein is the one who said, you know what we'd have to do? We have to build a giant dam. Of course, she's the one who did that. There was no deal going on here. Mitch McConnell didn't do anything like that. Mitch McConnell, come on! Well, it was Tennessee. It was Lamar Alexander, but Mitch McConnell, I mean, wrote the bill. So obviously, you'd think that maybe he had a hand. No, it was some underling that did that behind his back. That's so a special he, he super not, surprise he, for he him. He did not write in a two billion dollar bribe for the citizens of Kentucky, saying, "Elect me," because look what I can do. He did not do that. So he didn't. He, so he just, no. He didn't. He, he didn't, didn't work behind the he scenes. He didn't work behind the scenes on this. He didn't have anything to do with it. He was. Right there with the American people on I want everybody. I don't want just special interests. I want everybody to have the right deal. I want everybody to not have to pay for um, uh, fines or have their uh, insurance so far out of whack that they won't be able to keep their doors open for their businesses. No, no, no. But he he did already mm-hmm. request funds for this exact same project just a couple of years ago, mm-hmm. and a hundred million. That's when dollars. we thought we had a lot of money. Now, oh, he knows. So when people say we didn't get anything out of this, I remember the two billion dollar dam. My gosh, and you know it's so funny. You know it's so funny. Do you remember the show Mister Smith Goes to Washington? You remember that? And Mr. Smith was down there on the floor. And remember how everybody said, my gosh, watching Ted Cruz is just like Mr. Smith goes to Washington. And what was he fighting? He was fighting the guys who were working behind the scenes on a dam project. Yeah. He's going to take Boy Scout land or something? What is that? They're going to take the Boy Scout land from him Mm -hmm. on a dam project. (laughs) So you're saying Mr. Smith was the bad guy. In retrospect, we now realize. Well, now we realize that the guy who did take the dam, okay, uh-huh. we a we know two things. What one, Frank Capra <laughs> stole this storyline from today, mm-hmm. so torn he, from today's torn headlines. from today's headlines. <laughs> or back then, it would have been tomorrow's. Yeah, he headlines. he plagiarized this whole thing. <laughs> two. 
He was so ridiculous. He actually thinks Mr. Smith wins. <laughs> you know, I mean, he thinks, oh, look at America and idealistic and everything else. When, no, the senator who is the corrupt one isn't thrown out at the end. He wins the dam for his people. And Mr. Smith is discredited. Mm-hmm. You see, that's what happened. And, and then, the Boy Scouts are bulldozed in the dam project. Well, no, the, no, no, no. The Boy, <laughs> the Boy Scouts. No, no. The Boy Scouts are not there anymore because they're in San Francisco having an open-minded discussion about homosexuality. Okay. So mm-hmm. that's the way Mr. Smith goes to Washington really ends. <sighs> I feel better.